Hello everyone, welcome to this episode of Unbox ID. I'm your host, SD Ng, aka The Designer. We're here today at Lucky Kun Bathroom and Sanitary Studio. Now, beyond bathroom and sanitary, they also have kitchen appliances and kitchen fittings. But it's also a one-stop shop that also covers lighting as well as soft furnishing. But this place is huge, so I won't call it a one-stop shop. In fact, I'll call it an emporium. Yay! So they are literally what we call a house of brands. Check out all the brands they carry. So let's talk about the toilet bowls. If you are staying in a HDB flat, most likely you will be using a toilet bowl that is an s track If it's a private property, again, most likely you'll be what we call a P-Track. But beyond this, of course, you'll be choosing toilet bowls based on shapes and form. Now, there's no way that you can judge whether it suits you or not just based on the looks. So you do have to come down to the showroom, sit on the throne and exert your royal rights. That's one way to kind of figure out whether it suits your body form or not. Another thing to think about it, of course, is the shape and form of the toilet bowl itself. Now, toilet bowls comes in a single piece, a two-piece, and maybe even a wall mount as well. When it's a two-piece, usually it means that the cistern and the body of the toilet bowl is in two separate pieces. So that means that there's a join line. And when it comes to a join line, there will be some maintenance involved. So do take note if you are fussy about maintenance. So let me share with you guys something really cool at the Lucky Kun showroom, and that's their own product, this toilet bowl here. We are very familiar with the WELS system, the Water Efficiency Labeling System. What this does is that it tells you, for example, in terms of toilet bowl, how much litter is being used per flush. And that, what that basically does is that it indicates the water conservancy. It doesn't share with you its efficiency when it comes to the flushing. So take for example, let's say you come in for a big business, right? and you realize that it's not flushing as well. So you end up flushing multiple times just to make sure that your big business actually goes down the drain. So this technology that they have down here, the ENT toilet bowl, actually has this tornado swirling effect. So every time you flush, it don't just come down from the top, it actually swirls and this makes sure that the big business goes down. So that's really water efficiency. So let's talk about the kitchen. There's a huge variety of appliances as well as fixtures at the kitchen area for Lucky Kun. Uh, specifically, let's address the kitchen sink. Now, the kitchen sink is an important element in the kitchen work triangle. Besides the cooking area as well as the fridge, the next most important thing is actually the sink area. And for Asians, if you are actually an avid cook, then the sink is a very important uh, asset and investment for you. For Asians that do a lot of avid cooking, right, then it's important to pick the right kitchen sink. It's large enough to feed your pots as well as your wok. More importantly is to look out for its thickness. So if you have very oily cooking, then there's a likelihood of accidents and may fall from your hand and drop into the kitchen sink. So the thickness of the sink is important because if it's a very thin stainless steel, then what will happen is that you will have dents or you'll start to warp. So it's important to have it thick. Lucky Kun has this ENT brand uh, kitchen sink that is 3mm thick. So that basically is really tough. And of course, it's using 304 stainless steel. And beyond this, something that's really cool is this thing that we have here for the kitchen sink. And that basically is an insulation layer. This insulated area helps to make the kitchen sink insulated against condensation. So give you a scenario, if you open up the fridge and you take out a frozen chicken to thaw in the kitchen sink, the likelihood is that it will actually start to have condensation droplets inside at the bottom of the kitchen sink. So that explains why sometimes when you open up the kitchen sink and you see water droplet or you have a musky smell. That doesn't happen if you have an insulated kitchen sink. So if you want to dress up your bathroom, the first thing you can do is actually look at upgrading your shower area. So one of these bad boys here is basically the rain shower as well as the handheld. 
Now you were probably wondering whether your bathroom is suitable to have the rain shower. Now it's important to note, not all bathroom is suitable because of water pressure. So how do you know whether the water pressure in your bathroom is ideal? The first thing you can do is to engage a plumber and he can do a reading on your water pressure. Another DIY hack you can do to test your water pressure is to bring in a pail and have the water run for at least one minute. Now if you can collect anything between 8 litres to 12 litres per minute, you're set. Here's an interesting fun fact about the name Lucky Kun. It is actually a nickname given to the founder, Mr. Kun himself. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode of Unbox ID. As always, here's an exclusive promotion to you, our six size followers. Come on down to Lucky Kun at any of his branches and mention Lucky Six Sides during your purchase to enjoy a further 10% discount on all ENT regular price products.